and welcome to my messy kitchen. The reason everything is in this room is because we're in the middle of the living room project. Today we are going to replace this. I found the most perfect workbench on Facebook Marketplace. I haggled a little and we are going to go pick that up. I measured, it's gonna fit in my car, so it's gonna be an adventure. So, here we go. Here, okay, I got it, I got it. Well, it's caught on the stairs. Wait, what if we do it upside down? I don't see how that's going to make it smaller. Also, what's really prohibiting us? Oh my god, you got it? Yeah. I'm letting go. This is our dungeon. Living out of it. <laughs> well, I gotta put stuff on there. Messy and cleared out. It's gonna look so good. Okay, so I'm going to get. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. More things to bring in my house. I'm going to my car. I have so much stuff in it. So I need to empty my car from all my client stuff. I'm like wrapping a big client project. That's why I have like so much stuff because it's like all of the finishing touches. Yay! Elliot's not happy with me right now. <laughs> why? Because you hate going on these treks with me. I do. I'd say for the most part, you're a very compliant uh -huh. partner. I just think it's the multitasking. Yeah, so... The eyes off the road, the looking at the phone, the... I've never done that before no, in my life. never. Well, Elliot is in school and working full-time, and, um, why don't we do, like, a little, like, get to know us really quick. Okay, I should have showered before, maybe. You... you probably smell They me. can't smell you. So, Elliot is in school, this is the and working full-time at the hospital. What's your title again? I'm a cardiac monitor technician. Yeah. He watches people's heart rhythms and makes sure that they don't die when they go to an MRI. Yeah, and if something happens, I just have a panic attack. And if it happens, no, you I always, just get in you there. You stay calm. We figure it out. It's pretty impressive. So he's also in school because he's going to become a nurse. So for those of you who might be stumbling onto my channel or are genuinely just confused by my uh, what I do for a living, I am too. If you follow me on Instagram and that's like why you're here, you're probably just as confused as I am. My day job, I work in the film industry, I work in TV and film. So that's what fuels my bank account. But on the side, I do have a few interior design clients and that's what fuels my soul. I guess I could explain my background a little bit. I am from Buffalo, New York, but then I went to school at Point Park University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for photography, but it's been 10 years since I've moved here. A little over a year and a half ago, I met this one. We met on Tinder, which is probably the coolest thing about us. Otherwise, our relationship isn't that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us were interested in having a relationship, but um, I don't know. We met and started chatting and sparks flew, I guess. Immediately. And we just kind of became inseparable. After four months, we decided to move in together and then we were engaged around five months. Whoops. Got married about a year later. We just got married October 30th. So like two months ago. October 30th? <laughs> April 30th. Uh -huh. <laughs> two months ago, yeah. Not even. And so after our honeymoon, we came back and now we're just like full-fledged, so busy. We never see each other. No. And when we do, it's like, babe, will you help me with this project? Uh-huh. Or he's studying, honestly. We're at a really 
really exciting point in our lives because I feel like we're both really chasing our goals and dreams together. And that's pretty fucking cool. Sorry, Mom. Well, we have good motivation to get it done, too, because I want mine done to be better for you. Yeah. So, like, conventionally, you wouldn't really start your nursing program over the summer, but... Elliot and I decided, like, get it done in as least amount of time as possible because it's gonna suck. But once we get through it, it's gonna be so worth it. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll be done in about a year and a half. Hopefully, yeah. I'm kind of guessing it's gonna be more like two years because, especially just like having to figure out what I'm gonna do about full time work and then full time school. It's just clinicals are gonna kick my ass. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about that. But it'll, we'll figure We're gonna it out. We figure it out. We always figure it out. These are like old tractor seats. So I don't mind them. They're a little too rustic. And again, they came with the house. And these were the ones I had on the other side. These are just like old for my old apartment. Um, I just think I want to get something a little more mid-century. I love it though. they're constantly wasting raspberries like they can't eat them fast enough think I'm conserving them or something by like not eating them right away and I'm like oh I'm saving them for like this special time but like all the time is a special time to have raspberries so this is just a little I don't know. Convenient thing you can do for long matches. I just like having long matches if I'm lighting a bunch of stuff or if, you know, you have a really low candle like this. <laughs> it's probably done, honestly. But I'll just take like any vase or anything. And these boxes have the little striker stuff on it i don't know what it is and i had one previously but unfortunately i left it out in the rain and all of <laughs> this turned into like a weird goo so i threw the whole thing away but we're gonna use this one so put it on the bottom cut this out put it on the bottom like that and then put your matches in the vase. And it actually looks pretty cute. that I mentioned before to match that bunch. Since I have this extra fabric, I'm gonna try to do like a patchwork design just because I don't have like enough to actually cover a pillow. And I wanna use this big one so it can kind of go on here and like brighten up this corner. So I have this like random insert. I don't know what it's from. This is by no means a tutorial. This is just how I'm going to figure out how to do it. I'm not a seamstress, and I'm sure there's a million better ways out there to do it than what I'm gonna do. If you're coming here to learn something, don't. <laughs> I'm just seeing what I can cover. I can cover the pillow three quarters of the way with just this piece. If you have seen my previous videos, you know I'm not interested in measuring things. So because I'm not, I don't want to be fussy about the way this lines up, you know, with the stripes and stuff. So I'm going to like make the stripes go in different directions.
What I can do actually to cheat, just do the front and then do canvas on the back. Pretty cute. Yeah, I don't mind that. My mom's gonna be jealous. She's gonna want one. Sorry, mom. Maybe I'll save some fabric, mom, and I can cover that bird pillow you have. The one I think it's like old IKEA. That's probably enough to just do the front. I'm gonna get some canvas to do the back. In case you're a seamstress and you care, this is 10 ounce dog cloth, just because it's what I have, not because it's preferred or anything. I fixed it and I wasn't recording. <laughs> Essentially, I ripped out the stitches, stitched the part I should have stitched first, and then stitched whatever. You're not learning from me, so it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Shrimpy. Okay, pinned this side, and I'm just gonna go for it. That's just my bag. To just go for it, don't measure. Don't double check, ride those waves. into my pillow and examining it, you know? And if they are, they suck. Pretty dang good. I mean, that's pretty cute if you ask me. And the whole space, it's not overwhelming. Yay. Nothing is safe in this house, and if you have cats, you know it's true. <laughs> this was sitting on my other couch, and my cat was laying on it. And it specifically says, shrimp, do not bend. So if you can learn how to read, that'd be great. I'm going to do a little unboxing of things I've ordered recently slash purchased. So I'm gonna open these things and I don't know, maybe we can chat. Anyways, this, I discovered this Etsy shop from one of my fave YouTubers, Paige Wassel. Oh, it's so cute. This is, this girl does oil paintings and you can order, I think this is just a print. This cute little sardine print. Oh, this is cute. Michelle, thank you so much for your purchase and for supporting my work. I hope that you enjoy this piece. Warmly, Krista. I do, and 10% off your next order. I just thought this would be cute, maybe in my kitchen. Yeah, okay, it's a print. 
it's a print, but it's very cute. So I have to get a frame for that. This I got because I have quite a few postcards on my gallery wall, which is a project that I'm going to be redoing soon in a video maybe, probably. My gallery wall, I just kind of want to simplify it a little bit, redo some of the like cheap frames. So this is kind of my start. Some of my, I have like postcards that I really like that are on this. Uh, I have postcards that I really like that are, uh, oh my God. Postcards that are leading up the stairs on the gallery wall. Why was that so hard? Anyways, it's about time I framed them because a few of them are quite special and, I don't know, like memories and stuff. I always like when restaurants use postcards as their, like what they give you the bill on. I don't know, like if you had a really special dinner, then you have a postcard memory of it, you know? So I bought some frames, some vintage frames off of Etsy. I like the way this person packaged this. Look at this! They like individually wrapped every frame and then wrapped them all together and then bubble wrapped them. Wow. Okay, this is the first one. Very cute little detail. Ooh, I love this one. Has like a slight patina. Oh, this one I think is my favorite. It has like this gorgeous gold and black. So cute. I think my special postcard. This is fun opening all my packages in one day. It feels like Christmas. I didn't get all of these today. Cute. Okay, that's exciting. If you're ever looking for a bunch of card size frames, I do recommend searching on Etsy. A lot of people will sell them by the lot, so you'll get like four in one order. Like mixing and matching, but you didn't have to like work hard to mix and match on your own. So this, I ordered, it's not that spectacular, to be honest, even though it's a big box. <laughs> These are crates. Kind of big. I'm hoping it works in my bathroom. I am going to be redoing my bathroom. There's a lot of spoilers in this little opening hall. I have a lot of projects lined up. Um, it's like, you know, it's summertime and I started a YouTube channel, so <laughs> I'm redoing everything. They just snap into place. I have quite a few in the bathroom and in my pantry. This is a medium size. It's pretty big. I'm hoping it's not too big. I think I got five of them. What I wanted to do is have them, oh my god, they're massive. Shoot. They were on sale, so I got a bunch of them. And my plan was to put them in the bathroom to reorganize and just have shelves in there instead of this unit that I have. So this is a small one. And this is a medium. I mean, you could fit like two small ones in a medium size. That's a big jump. I did just hold this up in the corner of the bathroom and I think it's gonna be okay. I did get caught. That's a lot. Whatever. They were 60% off. I love that they stack. I won't use them for stacking, but I just, I just appreciate that they stack. Cute. Oh, and these are from Hey Design. This might be kind of like a weird thing to open on camera, but I went to Philadelphia this past weekend to visit my best friend Alyssa. We went to um, a Machine Gun Kelly concert and uh, high tea the next morning. So uh, I think that's a pretty accurate description of our friendship. Machine Gun Kelly 
and high tea. She's the friend that I mentioned in my living room makeover that we went to London together. Anyways, we both love like English everything, UK everything. Uh, Elliot and I would love to move to London once he's done with school, but we'll see. These are, these are dreams, they're not facts. So, I got this gorgeous book. Here's the front, and here's the back. I just thought it would be a good coffee table book, but also to get like good inspo, like, oh. well, look what I opened up to. Look at this lamp. Look at that lamp over here. Oh my gosh. This was a good perch. <gasps> Look at this bathroom. That is so cute. That wallpaper and the sconces. <clears throat> this is a pretty modern adaption, very modern. But like the elements of like the, the canopy bed and the, is it called like a booster? But booster? Whatever these things are called. What the hell are those called? Whatever, they go up above. Now I'm like, do I want one? Maybe. Also, look at that. It's really deep in there, but the striped, is it focusing? The striped wallpaper in the bathroom. I don't know if that's focused, but whatever. Mm. I have some unfave pages. No. That's not just a portrait of the queen in that home. No. <laughs> there might be s some redeeming factors in here. Like, oh. Okay, I need to just stay in the first half of the book. Because the first half of the book seems perfect. The back half is sad. So that was the back cover, right? But look it on the right side. Oh. Wallpaper. That's gorgeous. That'd be so cute in like a bathroom. I'd, I'd lose a toe for that stove. Well, don't necessarily go buy the book, but I definitely enjoy a lot, of, a lot of the imagery in here. The book is called Modern English Interiors. I think that's enough uh, from this vlog and from me. So I hope you enjoyed following me along through the various adventures of the last week. Sorry I didn't bring you to Philly with me. I hadn't seen Alyssa in a while, and I just needed to be with my girl. And I had good sister time with Lydia, so. I don't know, the camera just didn't come out. So let me know what you think about my pillow. And whatever else you feel like telling me about in the comments, leave me a like. If you feel so inclined to hit the subscription button, I'd be pretty thrilled about that. That'd be, That'd be pretty exciting for me. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay, love you. Bye.